Hello, hello, happy Thursday. So it's Pocket Coaching with Katie Time. Oh God, I love recording these for you. And I get so much amazing feedback from people when they just need that little nugget. They just need that little motivation. So if you're brand new to Pocket Coaching with Katie, my name's Katie Cannon. I am a lifestyle and fitness business coach, helping you build an incredible champion business. So today I'm talking about five reasons you need a plan B and I want you to get your thinking cap on and I want you to think of plan B when you're thinking of lifestyle financial okay so thinking of not a plan fit B in terms of fitness routine not a plan B in terms of someone lets me duck down on childcare. not that kind of plan B this is about building a financial plan B so I've got five quick little nuggets of why building a plan B is really going to serve you so well leading into the future. So quick, quick story. Five years ago, I was, I love it, five years ago, five years ago, five years ago, I was introduced to the incredible world of network marketing. So you know that I have, when you, if you follow me, I have a coaching brand, I have a network marketing business and I build gyms. So um, I was building my gyms at the time, wasn't quite looking for another opportunity, but I heard the word plan B. Now, now my network marketing business is one of my plan A's, but at the time it definitely was building another income stream was a plan B. So during this pandemic and everything, that has been a big game changer for me in thinking, the, the need for, you know, times are changing fast. People are making that shift. People are having to pivot. The need for plan B is more important now than it's ever been. So five reasons you need a plan B. I'm going to start with the super obvious ones. Number one, what we've all just experienced and still experiencing a pandemic. Who knew this was going to happen six months ago? Who could ever plan this? So the reason, you know, take from pandemic, think of Things can be thrown your way. You can be thrown curveballs when you least expect it. So the pandemic is one on a global massive scale that none of us knew was going to happen. So that is another reason why you need to have a plan B. Number two, recession. You never know, again, what's around that corner financially. It happens every 10 to 15 years, something like this happens. And you want to know financially, you have different things moving that isn't, so you basically don't want to have all your eggs in one pile. Now, I'm a big believer that you shouldn't have multiple different things going on with no focus, because then you get a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and nothing really working. So when I'm talking about a plan B, I don't want you to come up with six different ideas. Think of one or two, and just think of how that can really help you build your plan B. Number three, having a baby. So you might think, well, that is totally not relevant to me if you're a guy, <laughs> but it will if you're obviously the dad. <laughs> Um, but having a baby is a big change in a woman's life. And I have definitely, since having Emily and Ashton, I have definitely had real big light bulbs of why building my plan B was so, so important. When that shift and that change happened and values were, my values changed, different, you know, ways of doing things changed, what I wanted changed and just really wanting to make that shift so you wanting to have a plan b so that when you're planning a future with to have a family or you're having children you've got children already what's your plan b for your family and what you want to create number four um lifestyle change so this could be anything from moving house moving country you could pull baby and having children into that um you know just wanting to do something different having a plan b can really support you as you make that transition, so many times I hear people say, but I can't do that because I need my full-time job. And I can't do that because I need to pay the mortgage. And I can't do that because I've got all these other expenses to pay. When you've got that plan B and different the income coming in from your plan B, let's say you want to quit your job, but you've got this plan B supporting you that is literally paying your expenses. So it then can give you the time and the thought process and the freedom to really think maybe what you do actually want to do and how you can, so quite often a plan B can be an incredible financial resource to really build the future you want to build and to keep building that plan B, whatever it, whatever it looks like for you. But it gives you that support, basically that comfort blanket. Number five, 
cost of living. So this is no secret, the cost of living is going up all the time. The nine to five, the general um, wages don't often go up quicker as, as the cost of living is. So you're literally chasing your tail. Do you often get to the end of the month, and I've certainly related with this over the years, you think, where is my money? It's, you know, you know, when your bills will go out on the second of the month or the first of the month and your wages have come in and gone out and you're like, did I actually get paid? And that is because what's coming in, your expenses are far way out, outweighing what's coming in. So the cost of living is always changing. It's always going up. So by providing yourself with a plan B gives you the opportunity to really get ahead of that curve and really just stop chasing yourself round and round and round. And you need that plan B just for that financial. You know, when I heard the word plan B and think how much is in your savings, you think, oh gosh, I've just bought a house and you know, nothing. There's like about hundred quid in there. Be having you, giving you the ability to create an actually savings account, actually save. And I live in London. So wherever you are in this wonderful world, you know, especially if you're living in a city, you know how expensive living in cities are. So I hope you found top five tips on why you need a plan B. One, pandemic. Two, recession. Three, maybe four, lifestyle change. And five, cost of living. So see you next Thursday for pocket coaching. I don't even have a pocket, so I don't know why I said that. I was thinking I had a pocket here. So see you next Thursday and have an awesome, awesome week. Bye.